So one of the things, uh, the tip, main tips I would give you is try to make your live cross as natural as possible, as if you're just chatting to whoever it is on the end of the phone or on the end of the, um, at the end of the camera. To make a uh, live cross natural, spontaneous, actually can involve a bit of preparation. Especially if you're talking about something like an election, you really need to know what you're talking about because uh, you'll have way fewer ums, ahs and stutters and pauses and you'll generally feel a lot more confident if you know what you're talking about. So make sure you've read up about that seat or whatever it is you're talking about. Um, hands, as you can see, I'm a bit of a hand talker, so I am using my hands. If you naturally do use your hands, use them. Don't try and prevent using them, but don't overdo it or you're distracting people. Um, the viewer will simply be watching your crazy hand movements. And same about um, clothing. You don't need to be wearing a Hugo Boss suit, but you do need to be wearing something that isn't going to distract someone. And if it's a, you know, a bond singlet you'll probably be distracting or if you have something with a big stain or even if it's inappropriate you're wearing a suit in the middle of the desert or a swamp that's distracting too. Notes are okay too I've taken some notes here feel free to look down at notes every now and then especially if it's a complicated topic you're talking about um, take some notes and also if you're pointing to something look at it here you can see the crowd behind me here they're cheering if you just sit there and say look at the crowd behind me or use your it's not natural and that will be distracting too so your key thing is to try to look natural and not do anything too distracting for the viewer mm. and have lots of energy the point of a, a live cross is to to bring the latest of the story or from the, to hear from the person on the ground and this is a great opportunity to to really bring some energy to the broadcast so everything that Sarah said about using your hands just trying to be natural I'm a natural head mover and an eyebrow raiser <laughs> so I do that quite a bit in my life crosses um, and that's okay because not to do them would require far too much concentration for me and then it, then it absolutely wouldn't be natural so Obviously, you need to know yourself. Sarah's talked about that already. Uh, what I always do is I always have a notebook with me when I do a live cross. I will always do one, have, have one, mine in my hand, and I will have made some dot points of the key issues, the key points that I want to get across. So that way, if I have a brain freeze, which does happen and does happen to even the most seasoned journalist, you can just look down at your notes and you can see... Uh, what it is that you wanted to talk about. But you're not scripting your live cross, there are you? Absolutely and then trying to remember no. every word. It's like you're putting down um, four or five single word or two word dot points like um, uh, seat at risk or landslide victory or yeah. you know whatever. Or the swing or the label. That's right, the swing that they need. Yeah, four percent, four percent swing. Um, so uh, the other thing that you can do and, and I encourage you to do is if you have key points that you want to make, tell the producer beforehand. It's no good coming to the end of the live cross and saying, oh, I wish they'd asked me about this. You need to communicate that to the producer. It's very easy if you're nervous to start shallow breathing and then it's really obvious and then you start to freak out and everything just goes downhill. Before you start, empty your lungs fully. Then as they are, uh, for the five seconds before you start talking, as they're reading your name and introducing you, you take a big breath in through your nose. So then when they say, and now we cross live to Madeline Morris, you've got a big, beautiful lung full of air and that's a great way to start. Um, and the other thing is you can always slow down. When people are nervous, they speak fast. So if you hear yourself and you're going, wow, I think I'm feeling it speaking a bit quickly, it's probably because you are. So you can always slow down. And it's very odd speaking to a camera. Everyone thinks that it is. Um, different people will try different ways of managing that. Some people say, imagine that you're speaking to your grandmother. It's never really worked for me. But the important thing to remember is that television is a very personal medium. It's as though you're speaking to one person, not a hundred thousand people, just one person. And if you can think of yourself as speaking to one person, then that can actually help you to be engaged, be energetic and not use too much jargon and, and to speak in a normal way, because really that's the main point. When someone asks you a question and you don't know it, do, do the politician. Yeah. So, well, what I can tell you yeah. is blah, blah, blah rather than, I don't know, because that really doesn't look great. Yeah, it's the old, well, 
Here's what I do Here's want to tell I do you. Want to, I, have, I have no idea what you're talking about. But actually, let me tell you what I do know about. And no one will ever know. Uh -huh. <laughs> Good luck.